Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number three review of series number nine. Series number nine is premium pouches. So, as you just saw, it will be the first of the three Copenhagen products. It will be Copenhagen pouches. Uh, I want to make a correction in something that I said in past videos. I had said either during the snuff or the long cut, probably the long cut because I believe that series was first, that, that the snuff and the long cut were the only products still put in fiberboard cans. Incorrect. I wasn't thinking, even though I knew this, I spoke before I thought and then didn't think about it afterwards. The pouches are also in fiberboard cans and they also have the CW and the diamond raised on the front of the can, okay, on the lid. So let's take a look at the packaging. So it is a bronze color with a darker brushed bronze in the center to black on the edges. Pouches are clearly noted. It is a squared boxed rim in the style of U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company. The Copenhagen is raised. The Satisfaction is raised. And this is one of three products that has a raised CW inside the diamond. Going around to the banding, you have branding. They do denote here that it is original. Manufacturer's information, uh, basically that it is a product of the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee, and that it is 100% U.S. tobacco. The website that they have listed is freshcope.com. Barcode, scrunch warning label, some branding, original pouches right here, and other general information such as sale is only allowed in the United States, underage sale is prohibited, and again, as I said already, it is 100% American tobacco. As you can see, it is in a fiberboard can. It will have a sell-by date or in this case, a guaranteed fresh buy sell by date, uh, which is February 3rd, 2019. Let me see if I can get you. Okay, so I haven't had these in a long time. Um, now, these will not be like the bandits. They will be 15. Um, pouches to a can, which is pretty standard with dip. I'm having a hard time breaking this label, to tell you the truth. Doesn't want to cut. Um, now this can is 0.82 ounces. Okay, so that's about 0.4 ounces less than a regular can. I'm having a heck of a time with this. Thing does not want to cut. still on there. <laughs> now I got something in my eye. Ah! Hold on for a second. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. That gave me quite a bit of trouble there. The band didn't want to cut and it was, uh, well, it's a little, it's a little off centered anyway, but where it met and folded over on itself was not cutting through for whatever reason. So, opening the can up, it's a very strong, pungent smell of Copenhagen. Uh, long cut or, or the snuff. It, it could go either way. At some point later in this channel, I will be doing side-by-sides between pouches and their long cut versions and snuff, if need be. 
it's a smell I like. I, I, I think Copenhagen, like everybody thinks so highly of it within the community. Uh, we sometimes forget that like to the general population, this is going to be an acquired taste, really. And it's the same with the smell. So they are larger pouches, considerably larger. They are a lot more moisture, okay? They're pretty heavily stained. I am going to get a skull banded out to give you a side-by-side -side with the sizes. I can get it out of the can. All right. Oh, two skull bandits there. Okay. Surprisingly, this way, there's not too much difference. But that way, there definitely is. This is the skull bandit, and this is the Copenhagen original. Okay. So, I'm going to pop two of these in. A little bit one on either side I'm gonna hit pause again and I'll be back in a couple minutes once this gets going okay and I am back okay um, I'm not a big fan of pouches they don't really it, it's not that I'm against them it's just for my own personal use, they just don't make a lot of sense. Uh, I don't need them for any reason. Having said that, and having said that the Skull Bandits had sort of, their time had come and gone, uh, I do still see reason for this product. Um, and that reason is for the sake of your beat up gums, if you have gotten to a point where your gums are beat up, you can take a break with these until the situation corrects itself or begins to correct itself. The other thing I would see with this, in, if you were in a work situation um, and you were the, uh, if you use the, 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 the not the long cut but the snuff this would be greatly cut down on mess uh, no matter how experienced you are if you're in an indoor situation office situation and you dip snuff normally you may want to give the pouches a shot I'm thinking the flavor is slightly off from the snuff and probably closer dead on to the long cut, but I mean, it very comparable. Um, so I see a reason for them uh, in, in general, not so much for me. Uh, I'm not in a position where I need to police what's going on in my mouth at any given time. Um, they're all right, I mean, the flavor doesn't come through like the long cut and it definitely doesn't come through like the snuff now I think I might get more if I doubled these up up front but uh, that was the case with the bandits but I don't know maybe I'll do it right now hold on And even doubled up like this in the front, it's still comfortable. They are comfortable. The pouches themselves are comfortable in the mouth. Definitely get more flavor that way. Being able to squeeze like that, you're definitely, um, for me, I'm definitely getting more flavor. It now tastes like long cut. Actually, it feels like long cut only all of a sudden the long cut is 
comfortable and not causing any like gum irritation, which wouldn't really be setting in yet, but if I had long cut or the snuff in up front for let's say more than 10, 15 minutes, I would start getting like a, I don't want to call it gator lip, but it'd be sort of a early stage of gator lip. Obviously for somebody like me that is not a snuff user and not really overly versed in snuff use, this is an easier product to deal with. And now that I have the bag, the pouches doubled up in the front, two of these pouches is about what I would normally dip, like my pinch size, okay? Which means some of you guys, I'm sure, take much larger than that, and then you're talking like three. It is juicing up better this way too for me now. Um, all in all, I like the I like naturals. Okay, it's not something I do every day. I lean saltier, so that puts me with Stoker's first, but then probably Copenhagen. I don't like the background flavor. I'm not overly caring for the background flavor in the Grizzly naturals. Um, that and I think they have a little bit lower. On the, on the salt content taste wise anyway um, these I mean if you're in an office and you normally dip snuff this might be the way to go double the pouches up and hold them up front somewhere or wherever you can easily squeeze them for me that's right in the front and doing that now there is a definite flavor release that's working for me. Uh, I will now actually probably keep these in. Um, you know, while I'm uploading this video or whatnot. All in all, it's a quality product. It's in quality packaging. You know, you got the old timey feel of the fiber board. It's, uh, I think, a good looking can. It's, it's fairly plain. I don't like, one of the things I don't like, I don't mind pouches being on there, but I don't like the wider bands on the divide here that they put pouches in. I mean, I know why they do it, so they can fit the lettering, but besides that, I think it's a good looking hand. It, it, it appeals to me for its simplicity uh, with the color scheme. These are definitely juicing up now a lot better. I may start doing this for every pouch review. I'll put them in on both sides first. I think that's how Berg's over at Berg's Dip Reviews does it. Uh, the upside about having two spots is you get more, if they're not on top of each other, you get four sides. But a lot with dip, a lot of the nicotine absorption is actually from the saliva juice coming off the product and not from direct contact with the product, uh, that would be more a snooze thing. But there is a reason to keep them separated, but it, it just wasn't juice enough for me. Uh, all in all, it is quality product, quality packaging. I like the flavor. I, I like the, the natural flavor that Copenhagen has. Um, I'll be interested to see how their mint and winter green, which will be the next ones coming, winter green first, then mint, uh, translates. But up front like this, doubled up and where I can squeeze, flavor's coming through good. These are, by the old numbers from the 2000s, uh, the only pouch product in the top five free nicotine nicotine content so they're pretty strong too as well which is another thing if you're if you in a situation where your gums are all banged up or you're not in a situation where you could use long cut this is what you want to go nicotine fix wise okay so this has been the review of Copenhagen pouches I am the student tie dip and chew guy I like to say hello and thank you to long arc 48 thanks man okay guys i hope everyone is well do take care of yourselves and as always god bless